Hello and welcome to another Fun I Got Pro 10 tutorial with myself, Dan Allen. I've got a question today on how to reduce noise uh, when you're shooting in a low light situation. And as much as we will try and avoid noise, there will be the odd occasion in which we cannot shoot entirely um, without noise. Um, and what do I mean by noise for those that don't know? If we look at this shot, you can see, if we take a look at the side of um, this zombie's top, you can see that there's actually quite a bit of grain and discoloration like pixelation um, a few pixels are random different colors and that's noises generated from the camera not being able to um, interpret or it doesn't have enough light there's no denoiser in, built into Final Cut Pro 10 so I use the FX Factory's own denoiser um, FX Factory Pro is a collection of plugins that I'm going to be covering um, generally and more specifically at some of their plugins uh, over the next couple of months now the first plugin we're going to take a look at is the denoiser. So if we just type into noise inside the search menu of Final Cut, you can see that there's a noise reduction plugin right here. And we can just drag that over to our clip. And you can see we've got two sliders. We've got noise level, which is basically telling it, in our opinion, how much noise we think is in the shot, and then a sharpness to try and bring back some of the detail. Now, from my experience, the sharpness works well but not as well as the built-in sharpener. If we just um, inside the effects panel, uh, which you can click here obviously if you can't see the effects menu, if, you, if we click on all and then press type sharpen, we can drag the sharpness filter into it, onto our clip as well. And if we just turn that off for now by clicking up here, if you can't see this menu remember, you can just check this button here for the inspector. Now, there's actually a bit more noise than the 0 0.2 that it's defaulting at. But let's first of all get rid of the sharpness, because um, we don't want to affect that. Now, if we boost up this noise level, you can see that we're starting to reduce the grain that's on her top. Um, it's hard to see when we're sliding it up, but if we now uncheck this. You can see the difference between before and after. Even on his the side of his face, you can see we're reducing some of the noise there. Now, obviously, what we start to do is lose some of the um, image quality in the the stubble on there, this zombie's beard. We can boost up the sharpness to reduce that a little bit, but that's why I would recommend using the built-in sharpness as well to slide that up just a little bit, not very much, just enough so that the image is clear. So if we look at the original image now, you can see that there's a lot of grain everywhere. We reduce the grain and then we bring back some of the sharpness. And you can see very quickly we've made this image acceptable and from this point we can go on um, to perhaps color correct the image um, giving it perhaps like a cold feel. Like that. But if we hadn't have gone through and reduced the noise first, then we wouldn't have a decent plate to um, springboard and do the colour correction. So, but remember, the ultimate solution to grain is to light your scenes brighter when you're actually shooting, especially with digital SLRs, uh, which absolutely love grain, um, which is a sarcastic comment, um, because you need to light digital SLR images very brightly, especially if you have a smaller sensor model, um, such as the uh, T2i um, or T3i um, camera. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, remember, this is the noise reduction plugin from FX Factory Pro. Um, and I'll see you guys soon. Remember to subscribe and like. It does help.